Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to convert facts or sentences into well-formed formulas using predicate logic in artificial intelligence. These are some of the facts or the sentences given to us. I will discuss how to convert these particular sentences into well-formed formulas using predicate logic in this case. So I will consider the first example that is Marcus was a man. So in this case, uh, Marcus is one person and man is you can say that uh, the one class here within this particular class Marcus is one entity here. So that's the reason you can write this particular fact something like this that is man Marcus here. So man is a class and uh, Marcus comes under this particular one class over here. Coming back to the second one that is uh, Marcus was uh, Pompeian. So again the same thing here Pompeian is one class here within that Marcus is one entity again. So that's the reason you can write something like this Pompeian Marcus over here. Now coming back to the third uh, fact, all Pompeian were Romans. So in this case, uh, we have been given all Pompeians, all Pompeians in the sense like uh, we need to consider uh, uh, for all X over here. So that is the one thing. And if X is a Pompeian, then that particular uh, X is a Roman here. So that is what the meaning of this particular uh, sentence or a fact. So that can be written something like this for all x because all is there we have to take for all x and if x is Pompeian that is what I have written here if x is a Pompeian then x is a Roman over here. Now coming back to the fourth one Caesar was a ruler again in this particular case ruler is one class within that particular class Caesar is one entity so that's the reason you can say that ruler of Caesar in this case again it is a quite uh, simple uh, fact or a sentence in this case so that can be converted into predicate logic very easily consider the next example that is uh, all Romans were either loyal to Caesar or hated him so because we have again all here uh, the very first thing what we need to do is uh, we need to take for all x and we need to consider Roman X that is if X is a Roman then they are either loyal to Caesar or hated him. So we have to take two uh, classes again here one is uh, loyal to another one is hate. The loyal to will take two parameters that is X loyal to Caesar or hate will take again two parameter that is hate X comma Caesar again here. So this can be written something like this one for all X if X is a Roman then X is loyal to Caesar that is the one possibility or X hates this particular person Caesar over here. So either of these particular possibilities will exist here either X is loyal to Caesar or X is hates this particular Caesar in this case. So these are the two things uh, we can uh, achieve if X is a Roman in this particular case. Coming back to the next uh, fact that is everyone is loyal to someone. Again, because we have a loyal to here, loyal to will take two parameters that is X is uh, loyal to Caesar sim similar to that one. If I take X comma Y, X is loyal to Y in that case. Okay. So now if you look at this particular thing, everyone is loyal to someone. So if I say uh, the uh, quantity of this particular X and Y, X is everyone and second parameter that is Y is someone here. So that's the reason we will write for all X, there exist Y loyal to x comma y that is nothing but x is loyal to y that is for sure but what is the quantity of this particular x is this is for all x because everyone everyone is written here and similar to y y is someone here that's the reason we have written there exist that is this x is loyal to one or more persons over here that is what we can say in this case coming back to the next uh, fact that is people only try to assassinate rulers they are not loyal to that is a case we have to check whether the particular person is people and then this particular people will try to assassinate rulers here. So if X is a people, uh, we cannot take people here. I will take person. That's the best option. If X is a person and Y is a ruler that X will try to assassinate Y if they are not loyal to one another. The meaning of this one is for all X for all Y. If X is a person and Y is a ruler, if X is a person and Y is a ruler, try to assassinate that is X will try to assassinate Y that is what I have written here. If all these conditions are satisfied, 
then x is not loyal to y here because if x is lo loyal to y this will not happen if x is a person and y is a ruler x will try to assassinate y the meaning of this one is x is not loyal to y over here so that's the reason we have taken negation of this particular statement here now coming back to the eighth uh, fact here that is marcus try to assassinate caesar in this case so it's a very simple uh, statement here marcus try to assassinate caesar what is the meaning of this particular st uh, uh, predicate uh, statement try to assassinate x comma y that is x is trying to assassinate y over here in this case x is given as marcus and y is given as caesar so marcus try to assassinate caesar in this case so that is how actually you can write this particular statement over here now coming back to the last one that is all men are people again uh, people i have already told you uh, rather than taking people you can take person x over here because all is there we have to take uh, for all x if x is a man then x is a person here so that is a very simple statement we can write for all x if x is a man then x is a person over here so this is how actually we can convert facts or sentences into well formed formulas in predicate logic uh, in this video i have explained only the conversion part in the next video we will discuss uh, how can we prove some of these particular inferences like uh, was marcus loyal to caesar in this case we need to check whether uh, marcus was loyal to caesar or not uh, and similarly we have one more example here was marcus hates caesar so i have already solved these particular inferences also the link for that video is given in the description below you just follow that particular video to understand uh, how can we prove uh, such kind of uh, statements with the help of uh, predicate logic in this case i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.